Hi everyone, this is Sean. Welcome back to my channel. Please press the like button, subscribe, share, comment. If you have any comments, suggestions, please don't hesitate to comment below. In today's video, we are going to be talking about my brand new Under Armour Micro G tactical boots. Is this something that is good for law enforcement? Is this something that's good for private security? Let's talk about that. Somebody mentioned that I should call this series Walking with Sean or Walkie Talkie with Sean series. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to call it. Anyhow, I'm going for my daily exercise routine here. So I just got done running a mile and a half. And this is what I wore. I wore my Under Armour Micro G Tactical Boots. The boots are roughly six inches high and they are comfortable, you guys. Is this a good shoe for private security? Is this a good shoe for law enforcement? Well, let me tell you this. If your agency or your employer does not allow you to wear boots that are not shinable, you, you, you can't wear these. You, you can't shine these boots at all so that's out of the picture now if your employer allows you to wear bdus tactical pants whatever they call them nowadays <laughs> then i think that this that these shoes would be a great fit it just all depends on your employer I notice that my boots are coyote tan. If you are in security or law enforcement, you are probably wearing the black ones or you probably need the black ones, not the coyote tan. If you're on a special assignment, special detail, you're on SWAT, SRT, HRT, and you're authorized to wear coyote tan, then I think that these shoes are actually a good fit. You guys, I've finished a mile and a half running with these shoes and it, it, it took me about 14 minutes and some seconds I am getting back in shape the last time that I was in the better shape of my life was back in 2013 ish that's about nine years ago so I'm barely starting up the last two months getting every getting my cardio back up I am trying to get onto a special unit where I work and you're required to do a lot of stuff with your boots and i'm talking about running carrying grown men on your back um, dragging 180 pounds this training that i'm going to have to endure is gonna it's gonna be tough um i'm not saying what exactly it is yet because my employer for some reason they say that we're gonna form a special unit and they never do they say a lot of things make a lot of promises that never come true so i'm always optimistic but i am not going to be disappointed if this assignment doesn't really become a, a reality so what they have me doing is training with a tactical unit at another agency every, every month we train with them and these guys are awesome but just like any other tactical unit they're gonna wash out the week and i believe that they're trying to wash me out I think they're trying to wash out everyone else who I work with, and that's a good thing. We recently attended some building search training with them, and they had us PT for almost two hours. You guys, two hours. I, I could I could be for certain that they're trying to wash us out. Again, only the strong survive, and I'm actually kind of glad that they do that. You should be in the best fit of your life, greatest shape of your life, if you sign up on this special detail, which is not full-time assignment. It's just a collateral duty. That's all it is. Okay, so let's get back to this, these boots. Um, they're, they're great, you guys. I feel like they are tennis shoes. <laughs> they actually feel like running shoes. Um, would I run with them? Of course not. I'm sorry, would I 
use these on daily runs, there's no way I would do that. I'm just trying to get in the best shape of my life and being prepared for the training that lies ahead. Um, I don't want to all of a sudden start getting injuries when I get into the more intensive portion of this training. I want to train with the equipment I will be working with and that's what I'm doing here is I'm gonna be wearing these, these shoes. I, I know it sounds like I'm panting or gasping for air. I'm about an hour and 20 minutes into this exercise. <laughs> so right now this is literally called walking with Sean. Okay, I got my frame of thought back. I'll tell you this, that the only shoe that I've been wearing for the last almost 20 years are New Balance. They just fit me right. So when it comes down to shoes, I'm, I'm very picky because a lot of shoes have done me disservice. I'll tell you that with these, with these shoes, I did feel some, I felt more stress I want to say about 15% more stress on my calves, on my hamstrings, on my quads, on my shins. About 15% more stress. But mind you, this is the first time ever that I'm actually running with these shoes. And I, and I just, like I said, I just completed a mile and a half of running with it. Um, yesterday, I was doing the burpees sit-ups, push-ups, lifting sandbags, all that fun stuff that they call out there, CrossFit, whatever you want to call it. I was doing that with these, with these boots on and not one issue. Usually with some cheap shoes, my toes hurt and then sometimes there's not that back support. But you guys, guys, I feel like I'm actually using running shoes. I could keep doing this for miles. I think if you work at a post, which most of you do, and you're constantly on your foot or your feet, this is the shoe for you. It just feels great. It's extra light. Does not even feel like I'm wearing boots. Um, let's talk about the oil or slip resistant feature. I'll be honest with you that on mud it does feel slippery last or two nights ago we had thunderstorms out here and it you you will slip if you don't watch your footing but the same thing happened with me with my my almost 300 hundred dollar danner acadia boots that have vibrafam soles i was slipping too now, i haven't tried it on oil yet but on mud um you, yeah, you do slip. Now, I would probably face plant on my ass if I had regular running shoes, but, but that wasn't the case. So, all in all, I think this is a good shoe. Now, I've read some bad reviews about the shoe. Um, some people say that they're, they can't walk, they're hurt, they're, their back hurts, they have extra pain. But these shoes are not designed for every single human being. Now, maybe it's a blessing, maybe it's not, but I'm five, six and a half. Every, every inch counts. And I weigh, at, at the time of recording, 159 pounds. I am basically, I have South, Southeast Asian features. <laughs> that could be a good thing and a, and a bad thing too. So th that's, my, that's my body structure. I'm not the biggest person. Um, I would imagine if, if you were, if you had, if you were a, a fluffy individual, um, I think just about any shoe would, or any, any boot, if you run with it, you're, you're going to feel all kinds of pain, maybe injure yourself. And it's probably more difficult for you to find the right shoe. But for me, it just, these boots just work. Anyhow, let me know what you guys think. What shoe do you use as a private security officer, if you're in law enforcement, 
wh what kind of shoe to use or boots what do you recommend let us know in the comment section below you guys take care